Hi, my name is Chris Parent, and I'm the Next Food Network star. I'm the Next Food Network star because I make affordable luxuries. That means in this economy or in any economy, we all want gourmet food without paying a gourmet price. Now today I'm going to make a chicken Thai red curry. I love red curries. What I don't love is paying the high prices for them. So I've got a real simple recipe that's going to use a little help from a store-bought friend. Let's get started. So the first thing I have is a very hot pan here to which I'm going to add just a little bit of, olive, of vegetable oil. Olive oil will work as well. To that, I'm going to put in some garlic. Because I love garlic. I love the way it tastes. I love the way it smells. Love it. Now I'm also going to add these. These are just little Asian chilies I found. Thai food is known for being hot, and I don't want to let all of you down by making some mild Thai food. So I put in, oh, about eight chilies. You don't have to do that much if you don't like spicy food. It's not a problem. So really what I want to do is just kind of shake those around, give them a shake, let them cook for a few seconds. I want them to get kind of brown. And then in goes my chicken. Now I pre-cooked my chicken. It's probably not the best thing I could do for the flavor, but it is, it's chicken. We don't want to invite our friend Salmonella to the party, so I went ahead and pre-browned it. But, uh, you know, it, we'll still get some flavor out of it, um, and we'll actually put flavor back in with our broth. And speaking of our broth, the next thing I want to add is just a little bit of chicken broth. Probably half a cup or so. Because what this is going to do, it's going to end up reducing this soup. Because I'm going to put coconut milk in. This is a very Thai ingredient. It's very sweet, very tasty, and it's going to give this soup a really unique flavor. But I want it to cook down for a while. And if I didn't have that chicken broth in there, there's a good chance the coconut milk would scorch. So. Really, all I want to do now is add in the rest of my flavor ingredients. They, these are kefir lime leaves uh, that I have just taken a pair of scissors and cut down because kefir lime leaves are very chewy uh, and they're not something you could eat if they were their normal size. I've also got some cilantro in there because that's a very Thai ingredient. Ginger, also very flavorful. has a, a nice kind of uh, licorice almost citrusy smell. Again, because I like hot food, I've got about half a jalapeno I'm throwing in there. And then this is lemongrass. It's a very Thai ingredient. It kind of smells like lemon. It kind of looks like a, a stalk of celery. And then the last thing I'm going to do is this is Thai red curry. I'm just going to put in about two tablespoons. And when I'm done, it looks something basically like this. You can see that that red curry is boiled up. Looks perfect. It's going to taste delicious. 